ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Video Game Drive-By. Brian, you seem to be... You seem to be quite enamored with this game. Oh yeah, I haven't shut up about it since I started playing it. It's the thing that made me shut up about Axiom Verge. <laughs> yeah, and that's saying quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. So, if you... Off-camera, you describe this as Animal Crossing with a plot. Yeah. And uh, probably more corpses. Like, Stardew Valley, but with, you know, corpses. Corpses. <laughs> uh... Am I stuck? I don't think or so. Or is it just no, there you go. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. Breaking Dead? Yeah, that's the expansion. There's a $5 add-on that, um, oh, okay. that gives you a, a, just a few quality of life enhancements. Let's see what all this... Okay. Whoa, 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 hold on. Espanol. I can Espanol? Es muerte. I can... <laughs> what was it we said before? Uh... Pablo Fernando. <laughs> and Por Nando. qué? Por qué? What's they got? Oh, here we go. Ne Boom! Nailed it! Now I can be the best gamer ever. Sweet. Fucking do it, I swear to I mean, everybody sweet. just talks in blah, 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 anyway. Oh, seriously? Yeah. What is this? Uh, Russian. Is it? Yeah. I, I can't recognize Russian. <laughs> Chinese, there we go. Nailed it. Cool, what does it say? How, I don't know. How, how important is text in this game? Extremely. Okay, I'll, I'll put it on English then. <laughs> I was gonna put it on Chinese to be a smart ass, but... Also, uh, look how gorgeous the pixel art is for this game. Uh, right? I have seen a title screen. Yeah, I know, but like the waterfall back there looks good. The the water Where? there was a waterfall in the background. Was there? Yeah, it's gone there's now. also some ocean there. It's gone now. Also, this game is uh, sans approved. Not every skeleton is sans. Yeah, I know. Some are papyrus. Hard to believe, I know, but not every skeleton. You're gonna meet a skull, and I can't help but hear papyrus voice, but less oh, obnoxious. I thought you were gonna say you can't hear, you can't help but hear from his talking, from a Sans. <laughs> it's more like blah, 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 blah. what Sans or the no the, the, skeleton. the skeleton. Oh okay. Yeah. It, it's very Animal Crossing esque the way everybody sounds when they talk. Like everybody has their own little noise that they make when they talk. So um, speaking of Animal Crossing and dead things. Yeah. Yeah. How long did you play Pocket Camp? Uh, not long at all. Okay. So I remember you said you had gotten it, but I don't remember if you... I got it. It was cute, and I quit. It. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. It is an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. These subtitles go kind of quick. Yeah. Aww. Me, me. You maybe shouldn't have been looking at your phone in the middle of the street, maybe. Yeah. Do you want to voice you? What happened? Where is everything? Calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. It looks like I closed a book on my life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? New task. Go home. There is... Actually, that is it. <laughs> is it seriously? There's always a way to get home. Hmm. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Oh, good. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. Does it mean I'm dead? But I need to go home to my love. You need to be a good graveyard keeper. Don't tell me what I need to do. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? Oh. What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Right, so is it... I'm I think already... plus can pull... Or minus might pull up your menu. To see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. You can use pulls up the menu. Uh, L and R to change between your different tabs up there and stuff. If you I need will to. say I already have reservations on the controls. Oh, because it uses analog instead of D-pad. Well, not that it uses analog, but there's a delay in everything. I hadn't noticed. Cause like, I'll do the joystick. Like I'm holding it in front of me. Do you see what I'm doing? Uh, yeah. I've also never played the Switch version on a docked mode. That's weird. I'm distinctly seeing. Yeah, that's unusual whole lot of... Oh, okay, that's... Thankfully, that's the game doesn't require any crazy reflexes or anything. Okay, I'm about to say, it's if that's the case, I'm gonna have some issues here. And you have a little indicator arrow to help you out early on. Oh, okay, that's like my waypoint or something? Yeah. Well, hey there, J Oh, Y button. Just hold it down. What? Oh, you have to hold it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, this is you. Yeah. Holy sard, I'm a skull! Are you Jerry? Hmm... Why would you think I'm Jerry? The waypoint marker told me! The man with a red eye told me I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember. Oh, Sard. That's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? 
The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. That's not an answer to the question he gave you. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you and where the Sard are we? Is Sard an expletive in some language? For him it is. Okay. He says oh Sard quite often. I want to make sure I'm, we're not offending some, <laughs> uh, some other culture. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. That bell you just heard, by the way, uh -huh. that is the indicator that a new body has been delivered. Okay. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Hmm. He could be dangerous. Do I need to fight him? No. Okay. He's so dangerous. That he talks? Got the fresh corpse from the town. He's a communist, so I have to use an accent. It's only racist. Wow, a talking it's only racist? Is that all? <laughs> you, you can understand me? Let's talk. Who are you? I'm Jeep Labor. This car isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. Goodness. I only earn five carats a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? Is he just, like, designated Russian or something? He's a communist, so... <laughs> and he calls you comrade, so... Oh, boy. All right. The bastard pretends he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. What? What's 100%? That's the body. So, Walker... Uh, oh, he'll tell you what I can't. Uh, yeah, he'll tell you what to do. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. I can't. You don't, you're not giving me control of movement. Yeah. I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. Might even be profitable. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Let's do it. Let's puke! Alright, so what a... Oh. Oh, okay. Pick it up. Yep. Bring it in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the thing I was saying before... Uh, speaking of Animal Crossing and dead things. Yeah. So, when you're playing uh, Animal Crossing, either the you know the regular one or the um, slice some flesh from the corpse. Yeah. Excuse me. Sure, sure. It's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sword up and do what I tell you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. He wants a beer. Okay. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring me the beer. Okay. Preparation plays, palate, extract flesh. Yep. So you set it on the palate. Right here? Yeah, on the table, I mean. Okay. And then press A to do your autopsy. Eventually, you'll learn more about bodies and what things you can remove and what... This actually is one of the more important mechanics of the game, is okay. treating bodies to increase their white skulls while decreasing their red skulls. But right now, you don't know how any of it works, so you just do until whatever. Okay. And then you can get rid of the bodies or bury them, however you want to do. But what, is, what is work? Oh, just hold it down and it, you do the thing. Oh, okay. So yeah. before, I was just selecting the thing. I wasn't yeah. actually completing it. Should I be worried that I now know how to create a burger and a sandwich with this human flesh that I've exhumed from this body? I mean, it's only it's only if you have a problem with questionable meat. I have a problem with questionable meat. So does your character, apparently. You'll get used to it. <laughs> so what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Oof. Guess I'm taking it. Or I... Oh, you have to select it and then choose take body. Oh, okay. Jesus. So, in the Animal Crossing games, when you uh, when you max out your friendship with um, with a character, mm -hmm. they give you a like a framed photo of them as a gift. Yeah. So what I started doing in uh, in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I set up a bunch of the uh, the photos I had gotten, and I, like I put them on tables, sort of like as a almost like a a shrine yeah. of sorts. And behind it, I put, like, a meat smoker. <laughs> so it looked like I had sacrificed them to the meat smoker at some point. Nice. Because, like, it was one of those, like, 
You know the one I'm talking about, right? Like, you open it up, it's got, like, the, like, sausage links hanging from oh, yeah, it, and yeah. hooks of meat and whatnot. So it just, Morbid. Uh, I like it. What? I said morbid. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah, it was, it was hilarious. I wish I could see people's faces when they saw that, <laughs> that part. So, you gotta use the blueprint desk by the, by the church to set a grave marker site, and then you can dig it up, put the body in, bury it, and okay. then you can add accoutrement to it in order to... Accoutrement? Accoutrement. <laughs> what? Accoutrement. Add croutons to it. Add, Got it. Add croutons to it. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside-down stars for decoration. Yeah, they but actually... is this something I should be concerned with? Only once you start running the cult. Once I start running the cult? It's yeah. not even an if? That's no, you a, gotta run the church first, That's though. a once I? Like, it, yeah. it's definitely gonna happen? Did All right, me. so where, where am okay. I putting this You can just guy? drop the body anywhere. Got it. Drop the body anywhere. Okay, now go over to that blue table there. Go to the blue table. Build. Then choose gravesite. Gravesite? Yeah. And then just drop okay. one down for now. You can place them within the squares. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll put it right... Yeah. Okay. Now there walk over to the gravesite, and you'll. Oh, to the gravesite? Yeah. Set down the body and just press. Yeah. Do your hold. Hold them I. Okay. You have to. Oh, okay. Eventually, you'll get a tired meter that you have to fill up every say, day by I'm, sleeping. I was about to say. I noticed that yeah. blue, like lightning bolt minus one thing. So just hurl it in. Yeah. And then, in, and then. Inter. Inter the corpse. Inter. 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 Am I whacking it with a crowbar? No, you're hitting it with. The shovel. I'm hitting it with a shovel to bury it. <laughs> Nicely done! Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it. A lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, dang. He's harmless. I don't know. I know about the church. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Is he going to be suspicious of the uh, bouncing talking skull? No. I like the bishop. He's... <laughs> Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Not going to lie, one of the characters in this game, uh, I hear your Mr. Iwamine voice every time I talk to him because he's oh, that no. evil. <laughs> oh, God. Not that you have to, but I just want you to know that in my head, that's the voice I hear. Oh, boy. Well, who, what character is that? The Inquisitor. Inquisitor? Yes. Oh, now I feel like I have to voice him with that now. Go for it. I'm gonna. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Uh, excuse me? Basically, he's telling you that you have to repair the graves so that they no longer have negative numbers but positive numbers by fixing stuff that's broken, putting up better markers and things. So they don't look like crap? Yeah. Okay. And if you get your graveyard to a total of five stars... That's a star? Well, five skulls. He'll promote you. Okay. You look like a spear. Oh, that's your... That's me. I know you're eager to voice anyone <laughs> and everything in the game, but, uh... You look like a spiritual leader. And I'm a good... Okay. I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen. To represent his will. Ha ha. That's not the laugh of a good person. Nah, he's... He's a... Just a... He's just a big dumb bloke. Okay. <laughs> Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... Whatever that day is. Sunday! Each of your days are based on six of the seven deadly sins. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the symbols mean, but yeah. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals... I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha ha! I have one tiny question. What's his burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. New task! Uh, so does, what is this? That's, once you get that goal met, you can then use that line of dialogue with him and it earns you 10 points with him specifically in like his, it's like fondness meter. Oh, there's and like that there's opens like, up more dialogue options with him. Okay, so there's like affinity dialogue. Yeah, affinity. That's the term I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. And it opens up new quest lines and new jobs and stuff like that. So what, if I tell him I'm not the keeper, he'll tell you to keep it quiet. He's okay. You can you can talk to him about stuff, but there are certain people you just don't want to mention that you're not from this world. Okay. Like the Inquisitor. Oh. Well, he sounds friendly. Let me go. Okay. Fine joke, I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Oh no. Who is BB? 
Who? I am. Ha ha. What? Chuckle, chuckle. Blessed and you. Okay. <laughs> ha ha. How to fix a graveyard? She put all the graves that wouldn't even take. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. God damn. Okay, and they're just reminding yeah, just me. Just reminding you. Yeah. Okay. When I repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. You craft them at your home base. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game. I Don't see. Worry. Don't worry, though. You'll It'll all make sense as you progress through it. Now, do I have any kind of time limit? No. Should I be worrying about -uh. a time budget? Not really. Gathering small tree felling? Basically, you can chop down small trees now. Oh, okay. So, oh, goodness. These are your tech trees. You use the ZL and ZR buttons to switch between your different tech trees. Oh, dear. And you have three types of experience. The hell is Meat Fiesta? It's the section that you've already unlocked. Meat Fiesta. And bear in mind, you can use any kind of meat for those. You don't actually have to use human meat. So, like, certain types of meat you can buy, like, officially stamped meat that isn't from bodies. Can I just say to any viewers, I don't recommend Googling Meat Fiesta. <laughs> What is- is that brains? Yeah, it teaches- those are the things that teaches you how to remove from corpses. Soft spares. Hard spares. Je you know how to work with me, you have less chance of making a surgical error when extracting hard spares and soft spares. Yeah, sometimes when you remove things, it'll just- You can accidentally destroy it. And add, like, damaged tissue, which adds the red skulls to it, which are bad. Oh, boy. You want something to have more white skulls than red skulls. Though, adding different things to the grave can make up for bad skulls, too. Okay, book writing? Yeah, you eventually what? can start doing book work. Uh, that's uh, different okay. things to make your grave better. So theology is more like making the place look prettier? Yeah, and eventually you can like dress up the church and stuff. Oh my goodness. There's also some dark sciences in the alchemy and anatomy one. I'm uh, sorry? Yeah, there's like... Like down here or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so how do I get the different things, different points I need for these. Um, chopping down trees gets you green, red you get from like your from the bodies as you work on them. Uh, blue you get from religious stuff. Actually, blue is harder to get than other things, but you'll, you'll find ways to get it easy a little bit later. But basically, blue is the thing you need to focus on, on saving the most, because everything else can be quickly farmed. So, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I will... So we're about, about that time. I'm going to spend a good bit of time just, like, asking you about some of the stuff. Yeah. And, then, uh, and so, if you'd like, we can get the hang of the basics between episodes so that when we drop back into the game, you kind of know no. what you're doing. Okay. I'm going to learn this. To, screw it. I'm just doing this. Whatever. I'm, I'm a good graveyard keeper. I know what the heck I'm doing. I know how to dispose of a body. You shall be the greatest corpse monger that ever lived. Oh, man. That's my new band name. 